I would like to begin by saying that we are saddened by our empty stage and empty auditorium. The current circumstances have made everything a little more difficult. With that being said, we want to recognize our fantastic seniors as traditional as possible. So, welcome to your 2020 Senior Awards Ceremony. This ceremony was established to recognize the achievements of our senior students. I want to congratulate all of our students and their parents. To our senior students, thank you for your contribution to our school. I'm very proud of each of you. It takes dedication, loyalty, and value in education to be successful in school. Each of you have demonstrated those traits, and today we honor the best of the best. At Warren Central High School, we strive to create a partnership between the school and the families of our students. We want to always work with you to ensure that your children are cared for and placed on the path to success. Parents and guardians, we want you to know that we appreciate your partnership, support, and the commitment that you have given to these students. Thank you. We are truly blessed to work with wonderful represent representatives from both higher education organizations and military branches. At this time, they would like to recognize those students that they will soon be working with. Hello. EKU would love, love to congratulate the Warren Central graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, guys. You Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whenever this might reach your computer, laptop, cell phone, whatever you may be watching it on. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the staff at Warren Central High School, the guidance counselor staff, the admin, Mr. Norman, for allowing me to get, take this opportunity to recognize some of the class of 2020 from Warren Central High School. Uh, it absolutely warms my heart to be able to assist at Warren Central High School with the, the people that have looked into joining the military, the Kentucky National Guard as a whole, seeing how I am a graduate um, back in 2005. Um, I bleed blue, I am a dragon, I played sports, I loved it, and uh, the, the Central Pride is always gonna be there. Uh, the Central Pride continues in the Kentucky National Guard with three additional people um, that have walked all, all walks of life inside that school. First and foremost, I want to recognize Janet Puntos. Janet has been in ROTC for the, uh, since freshman year, I believe. Uh, she came to me with, with questions and aspirations of how it is that she can take the next step to be able to give herself an opportunity that she might not have been able to have. And through the Kentucky National Guard, she's done that. She's been an absolute pleasure to be around. Those of you that know her and friends are with her, her teachers, you know that she's always got a smile on her face. She's always got a great attitude. And uh, she's introduced me to some great songs, um, Lovaca being one of them. We listen to it all the time on the way up to drill. It's uh, now become my, my hype song, so to say, when we're headed up to drill. Um, Next and foremost was uh, Colby Stahl. Colby Stahl has been the kind of kind of strong, quiet type throughout the, his enlistment. Uh, he decided to go 13 Mike, multiple launch rocket systems, high Mars crew member. He's going to shoot really big rockets really far away, and I think he'll make a great asset to the team there. And then we also have Willie Walker, or James mm -hmm. Willie Walker, um, a senior class on the baseball team as well. Uh, this young man has great aspirations to continue his knowledge in the mechanics and be a 91 Bravo. I think all three of these people are going to continue the pride and excellence that Warren Central has to offer. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the kind of soldiers they become, the kind of civilians that they become inside of our community. I'm looking forward to the opportunities that they're going to be afforded through the Kentucky National Guard and seeing how they utilize those from between state tuition and war programs, Montgomery GI Bill, additional health care, so on and so forth. These people have truly set themselves apart from their peers to be able to be successful. And I can't wait to see them on the Dragon Hall of Fame one day. And it just warms my heart once again. Uh, if you guys ever have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Just once again, a big shout out 
and I thank you for allowing me to be a part of this decision that you made and continuing to be a part of the Dragon family. Once again, Private Puntos, Private Walker, and Private Stahl, welcome to the family. Can't wait to see what you do throughout the rest of your career and going through college. Thank you again to the staff, Mr. Norman, the guidance counselor staff, for allowing me this opportunity to reach out and recognize the class of 2020 seniors who have enlisted into the Kentucky National Guard. Have a great day and go Dragons. Hello, Warren Central graduates. My name is Dia Garcia and I am an admissions representative for Bellarmine University. We want to say congratulations on all of the accomplishments that you have. We know that this isn't the senior year end that you expected but we want you to give yourselves a pat on the back. I have a special congratulations and shout out to two students who will be attending Bellarmine in the fall semester. Congratulations to Ella Alec, who will be receiving a $25,000 scholarship. Ella, we look forward to seeing you in the fall semester. And congratulations to Angel Kitchens. Angel will be receiving $23,375 in scholarship award and Angel, of course, again, will be excited to see you. We wish you the best of luck with the end of your semester, and we hope that you enjoy your time this summer. Go Knights! Hi, my name is Kelsey Brady, and I am an admissions counselor at Brushing University in Owensboro, Kentucky. I'm very honored to be able to present this academic and athletic scholarship to a very deserving student, Tayton Smith. Tayton is awarded our academic scholarship called the Marisi Scholarship of $12,000 per year. He is also awarded an athletic scholarship for basketball, which is $2,500 per year. We cannot wait to have you on campus and welcome to the Bearcat family. Hello, my name is Kahala Glover and I'm an admissions counselor here at Lindsay Wilson College. First off, I'd like to congratulate all of the seniors graduating in this class and taking the next big step in your all's lives, whatever that may be. I wish all of you the best going forward and cannot wait to see the things that you all accomplish. The following seniors have been awarded these scholarships from Lindsay Wilson College, and I'd like to personally recognize them for these achievements. Justin Borden is receiving the John B. Horton Scholarship for $11,000, as well as a track scholarship for $2,500. Rodney Burton is receiving a $9,000 Lindsay Wilson grant. Tayton Smith is receiving the John B. Horton Scholarship for $11,000 and Jean Bosco to Yasenge is receiving a $9,000 Lindsay Wilson grant and a track scholarship totaling $7,562. Again, congratulations to all of the seniors graduating. I know all of your hard work is finally paying off and I wish you all the very best going forward. Hello, my name is Carly Wynn, an admissions counselor from Transylvania University. On behalf of the entire Transylvania community, I want to congratulate each and every one of you on your accomplishments as you wrap up your senior year. Your class has been through more challenges than any before you. I'm exceptionally honored to be able to recognize one of your graduating seniors who is going to be joining the Transylvania class of 2024. I would like to recognize Bernabe Miranda. Bern has been awarded our Founder Scholarship, which is a competitive four-year award. Additionally, he has also been awarded our Trailblazer Scholarship and our Theater Scholarship. We are so excited to have his talents on campus this fall. Congratulations to Byrne and to his family. Lastly, I would like to congratulate each and every one of you, the graduating class of 2020 from Warren Central High School. Best of luck to each of you as you leave your high school experience behind and go on to an exciting future. Hello, my name is Ariel Moore and I'm an admissions counselor at the University of Louisville. Since its inauguration in 1798, the University of Louisville has evolved into a premier, nationally recognized metropolitan research institution. When you walk around campus, you're going to interact with people who are there to learn, make a difference, and take U of L to the next level. Our students represent some of the most academically talented students in the region. There is no better time to be a Louisville Cardinal. Over the past year, the University of Louisville has had the great pleasure of working with many talented future students from Warren Central High School. We would like to take a moment to recognize students who have received an academic merit scholarship and plan to become part of the Cardinal family in the fall. I am pleased to present awards to the following students. Chandler Bumpus, Trustee Scholarship. 
Jordan Canterbury, Trustee Scholarship. Sierra Young, Trustee Scholarship. Congratulations again to our future Cardinals. We're so excited to have you on campus in the fall. Go Cards! Hey guys, this is Victoria Lucas and I'm representing South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College. We are so excited to present the Warren Central High School Awards today. Congratulations guys. Allison Leva, a $300 textbook scholarship. Dennis Freeman, a $300 textbook scholarship. Travis Sanderson, a $300 textbook scholarship for 2020. Munja Hamisi, a $300 textbook scholarship for 2020. Jenna Hopwood, a $1,000 Med Center Health Scholarship for 2020, presented by the Leadership Bowling Green Class of 2017. Austin Porter Elkin, a $1,000 Stuart Ritchie Scholarship for 2020, presented by Leadership Bowling Green Class of 2017. Maricela Rodas, $1,000 Graves Gilbert Clinic Scholarship for the for 2020, presented by the Leadership Bowling Green Class of 2017. Dennis Freeman, a $1,000 TriStar Greenview Hospital Clinic Scholarship for 2020, presented by the Leadership Bowling Green Class of 2017. Christian Haley, a $1,000 Sky CTC Scholarship for 2020, presented by the Leadership Bowling Green Class of 2017. Allison Leva, a $1,200 Leadership Bowling Green Class of 2017 Scholarship for 2020. A big congratulations to all of the recipients today. Keep up the good work, guys. Hello, Warren Central High School seniors. I'm Dr. Phil Neal, president of Sky CTC, and on behalf of everyone here at South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College, I wanna congratulate you on a great senior year and your pending graduation. Now, while this year did not end up like many of us thought it would, I'm proud of you for sticking with it, pushing through the challenges and graduating. This is called grit, and as it turns out, it's one of the most important characteristics of successful Sky CTC students, as well as college graduates across America. Now, each year, more and more Warren Central graduates attend Sky CTC, where many of them study for a high-wage, high-demand career. And at Sky, students complete an associate's degree and can directly begin a rewarding career after graduation or transfer to one of Kentucky's universities, where Sky CTC credits complete the first half of a bachelor's degree. We are deeply, deeply committed to helping you do all of this debt-free. By awarding numerous scholarships and many other forms of aid, we can help you graduate college and begin your career without student loans. As a matter of fact, last year, two out of every three Sky CTC graduates had no student loans. Congratulations to all of you who have earned one of the many Sky CTC scholarships this year. Your hard work and perseverance towards academic excellence is about to pay great rewards. Your future's bright, and I can't wait to see you on campus. Congratulations. Hi there, this is Owen Posey, Admissions Counselor from Western Kentucky University. Dragons, congratulations on your upcoming graduation, and for those who will be on the fall, I look forward to seeing you soon. I am now going to announce scholarship recipients for the Warren Central Class of 2020 for those who will be on the Hill in the fall. Starting off, we have Saleha Akili with Hometown Hilltopper, Melissa Alagic, Academic Merit, Farudin Alec, Academic Merit, Diana Alonzo, Academic Merit, Cornelius A. Martin, BB&T Bank Scholarship, and then our Governor Scholar Scholarship. Rafael Jr. Barades Vez, Academic Merit, and Cornelius A. Martin. Cheyenne Brooks Connor, Hometown Hilltopper, Ariel Carter, Cornelius A. Martin, Nyang Singh, Cornelius A. Martin, and Academic Merit. Nicholas Cowan, Academic Merit. 
Jalen Diaz Mong, Cornelius A. Martin and Academic Merit, Malia Dai, Academic Merit and Cornelius A. Martin, Erica Echeverria, Cornelius A. Martin, Dennis Freeman, Academic Merit and Cornelius A. Martin, Andrea Golike, Academic Merit, Zarina Gravis, Academic Merit, Anel Hatchevik, Academic Merit, Amra Hamza Bedrovic, Academic Merit, Kayla Hernandez, Hometown Hilltopper, Allison Hickman, Academic Merit, Nate Hickman, Academic Merit, Elnad Jasvik, Academic Merit, A. Key, Academic Merit, and Cornelius A. Martin, Kenny Lazo, Academic Merit, Caleb Massey, Academic Merit, Jordan Miller, Academic Merit, and the Builders Association of South Central Kentucky Scholarship, Bernabe Miranda, Academic Merit, and Cornelius A. Martin, Albina Marina, Academic Merit, Kumo, Academic Merit and Cornelius A. Martin Scholarship, Luke Monarch, Academic Merit, Win Win, Cornelius A. Martin and Academic Merit, Mio U, Academic Merit, Jeanette Navarro, Cornelius A. Martin and Academic Merit, Amiri Ray, Academic Merit and Cornelius A. Martin, Saw Ray, Cornelius A. Martin and Academic Merit, Jude Ritter, Academic Merit, Cassidy Resch, Academic Merit, Marissa Rodas, Academic Merit and Cornelius A. Martin, Talia Ruiz, Cornelius A. Martin, American Bank and Trust Scholarship and Academic Merit, Ashley S Sylvester Sargent, Academic Merit and Cornelius A. Martin, Colby Shaw, Hometown Hilltopper, Jose Valadres, Academic Merit and Cornelius A. Martin, and lastly, Yu Ya with Cornelius A. Martin and Academic Merit. Congratulations to all of our recipients and please reach out over the course of the summer if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Hello, I'm Tim Caboni, president of Western Kentucky University. We're incredibly excited to have so many Warren Central Dragons joining our Hilltopper family this fall. Core to who we are is providing access and opportunity to all those in our region with a focus on students like you in our own backyard. Today, it gives me great pleasure to share with you that WKU has offered more scholarship awards to your class than ever before at Warren Central, with a total four-year value of over $1.4 million. You've worked hard, you're reaching for your dreams, and you've earned this. So on behalf of all of us at WKU, congratulations. Keep working hard and know that we can't wait to see you on our hill this fall. Go Tops! Hi guys, this is Travis Hudson, the women's volleyball coach at Western Kentucky. I wanna congratulate you on your graduation. I know this has been a difficult time, but your class will be unique and will always be long remembered for the challenges that you have faced and overcome. You know, I think there's lessons in everything and this is no different. And I think maybe what we're all going through will help you maybe value the time that you're around people that are special to you and to be appreciative for all the little things that we enjoy every single day. Continue to make all the people proud that have helped you get to this point and as you move forward. You have a bright future ahead of you. Again, congratulations and best of luck. Hey guys, this is Coach Tyson Helton, head football coach of Western Kentucky. I'd like to congratulate you on graduating. Uh, I know this is tough times. I know you've been through a lot uh, the past couple weeks here. And, uh, you know, it's when we go through tough times and we keep persevering that uh, usually makes us tougher. It makes us stronger. And I know you guys are going to be a special graduating class. Somewhere down the road, uh, the time that you're going through right now is going to pay off for you. You're going to do great things in the future. So let this be a, a, a time for you to learn, a time for you to reflect. Uh, and again, I know that you will do special things. Uh, keep pushing forward. Uh, for, don't forget where you come from. Be strong. Keep the faith. And uh, I just again want to congratulate you and I wish you the best of luck. Hey class of 2020 Dragons. Uh, George Fan here, just reaching out, you know, to say hello and, um, you know, just tell you guys, be thinking about you guys. And, um, you know, it's been a crazy year. You guys are part of some history. 
you know, to, to be in this class of 2020 where, you know, the world has stopped um, because of a crazy virus. Um, you know, this is history. So you guys, you guys are part of something, uh, something kind of crazy right now. And, uh, you know, we feel really sorry for you guys, for you guys not being able to go to prom or go to even graduation, man. So I just want to, you know, be the one to kind of tell you guys to keep your head up, stay strong, and just, uh, you know, take this time to really reflect um, and, and think about your future, right? So, uh, you know, this time you have a home, and just writing, like, writing out a five-year plan, three-year plan, something you really want to keep doing in life, you know? So uh, just take this time to uh, try to, you know, build yourself up more and, and get yourself ready for the future. And uh, go out there and kill it. Keep that dragon pride. Talk to y'all later. Students have the opportunity to take advanced placement classes during their high school career. At the end of the course, students may choose to take an exam. By passing the exam, college credit is earned. Any student who passes three AP exams with a score of three or higher earns the honor of being an AP scholar. The following student has earned the honor as an AP scholar, Nathan Hickman. Please join me in congratulating Nathan. Students that score an average of 3.25 or higher on all AP exams taken and score a three or higher on four or more AP exams are referred to as AP Scholar with Honors. The following student has earned the title as an AP Scholar with Honors, Jacob Walterman. Congratulations to both Jacob and Nathan. Membership in the Beta Club is indicative of excellent grades and scholarships. Each of these students will be presented a gold Beta Cord to be worn at graduation and a certificate. Our senior, senior Beta members are Melissa Aligich, Randa Aldarwish, Ariel Carter, Lydia Singh, Sarah Cross, Jalen Diaz, Destiny Dunn, Peyton Eversall, Monique Ferguson, Andrea Golicki, Zarina Grabus, Summer Green, Mario Hernandez, Ali Hickman, Elnod Yasherevich, A. Key, Angel Kitchens, Jordan Miller, Bernabe Miranda, Ku Mo, Nini Mustafa, Win Win. Janet Navarro, Saw Ray, Cassidy Resch, Justice Simmons, Jean Bosco Tuasingi, Josue Valadares, Jacob Walterman, Maddie Wilson, Yu Ya. Congratulations to our senior beta students. Students in the College Academy are required to take a rigorous course curriculum filled with AP and college courses, maintain a certain GPA, and lead the school with truth, honor, and loyalty. Each student is also required to give back to the community through volunteer work and leadership roles. This year, the students in the Academy have volunteered 1,505 hours over the past two years at multiple community locations. They have completed 137 college courses and earned a total of 445 college credit hours. Some of the leadership positions these students hold include FCLA officer, FBLA treasurer and secretary, art club secretary, beta president and vice president, Spanish club secretary, president of KYA, SAD vice president and secretary, leader of recycling, yearbook editor, president of FCCLA, medical club president, Baseball captain, Lady Dragon soccer captain, JRTC officers, commanders, and company first sergeant, orchestra section leader, captain of color guard and marching band, and have also placed nationally in beta competitions, participated in GSP, and set school basketball records. Some of the leadership projects these stu students have completed include creating backpack care packages for kids in foster care, mentoring younger college academy and care members, raising child abuse awareness, tutoring at Jennings Creek, ACT goodie bags for juniors, Warren Central High School's reality fair, and Salvation Army food drafts. This is only a sample of how these students have given back to their community. 
Warren Central is very proud of everything these students have accomplished during their tenure as College Academy members and we are very confident that each of these young men and women will go on to do great things. Among this group you have nurses, engineers, doctors, professors, accountants, and so much more. A special soul will be worn at graduation identifying these students as graduates of Warren Central's College Academy. We will now recognize these students, the amount of college credit they have earned, and their plans after graduation. Melissa Olajic, 22 hours, Western Kentucky University, Accounting. Diana Alonzo, 24 hours, Western Kentucky University, International Business and Communication. Emmeline Chapel, 16 hours, University of Louisville, Criminal Justice and Forensics Anthropology. Sarah Cross, 19 hours, Lindsay Institute of Cosmetology. Jalen Diaz, 20 hours, Western Kentucky University, Nursing. Dylan Douglas, 13 hours, Western Kentucky University, Broadcasting. Peyton Eversaw, 29 hours, Campbellville University, Nursing. Andrea Golicki, 21 hours, Western Kentucky University, Nursing. Zarina Grabus, 18 hours, Western Kentucky University, Criminology. Elnod Yusar. Yasharovich, 25 hours, Western Kentucky University, Psychology. A. Key, 22 hours, Western Kentucky University, Biology. Angel Kitchens, 16 hours, Bellarmine University, Criminal Justice. Taylor Leach, 12 hours, Tuskegee University, Nursing. Jordan Miller, 16 hours, Western Kentucky University or University of Kentucky for Engineering. Bernabe Miranda, 12 hours, Transylvania University for Performing Arts. Albina Morena, 14 hours, Western Kentucky University Chemistry. Jayshon Muratovich, 12 hours, University of Kentucky Chemistry. Janet Navarro, 22 hours, Western Kentucky University and also enlisted in the National Guard, majoring in Spanish. Marcella Rodez, 15 hours, Sky CTC Nursing. Tristan Selby, 16 hours, Sky CTC, undecided. Ashley Sargento, 12 hours, Western Kentucky University, accounting. Olivia Smith, 13 hours, dual enrollment at Sky CTC and Western Kentucky University for photojournalism. Josue Valadares, 14 hours, Sky CTC, engineering. And Jacob Walterman, 42 hours, Western Kentucky University. Please join me in recognizing these students. The highest score on the ACT is 36. The following students have received a composite score of over 30 on their ACT. This is quite an accomplishment that puts them in the 30 plus club. These students are Mario Hernandez, Nathaniel Hickman, Joffe Jones, Tony Lee, and Jacob Walterman. Congratulations to all of our students in our 30 plus club. The following students have not missed a day of school this year. The students with perfect attendance for the senior year are Elnot Yasharovich, Abina Marina, and Travis Sanderson. Congratulations. This group of students will be honored with distinction as cum laude. These students have met at least one ACT benchmark and maintained a grade point average of 3.4 to 3.59 during their four years of high school. A silver tassel will be worn at graduation designating them as a cum laude graduate. In addition, a medallion will be awarded. The 2020 cum laude graduates are Alexia Barnes, Nicholas Cowan, Destiny Dunn, Monique Ferguson, Christian Haley, Jenna Hopgood, Angel Kitchens, Taylor Leach, Reagan London, Emilio Mandahano, Trezor Nishimwe, Talia Ruiz, Justice Simmons, Tayton Smith, Jose Valadares, Alexa Worden, Yu Ya and to our yet. Congratulations to all our cum laude graduates. Students in this category are honored with great distinction, having met two or more ACT benchmarks and maintained a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 
during their four years of high school. These students are graduating as magna cum laude. At graduation, a red tassel and medallion will be worn identifying them as magna cum laude graduates. The 2020 magna cum laude graduates are Ella Alec, Madison Bailey, Junior Barathis Vays, Chandler Bumpus, Niang Sin, Sing, Sarah Cross, Malaya Dai, Zarina Grabis, Mario Hernandez, Kenny Lazo, Daisy Lesenberry, Joseph Minjavar, Bernabe Miranda, Kumo, Austin Porter Elkin, Haley Rhodes, Maricela Rodas, Tristan Selby, and Ashley Sargento. Congratulations to all our magna cum laude students. Thank you. This next group of students holds the highest distinction of academics at Warren Central, deeming them summa cum laude. These students have met three or more benchmarks on the ACT and have maintained a grade point average of 3.8 or higher during their four years of high school. A go tassel will be worn by these students, designating them as summa cum laude graduates. A glass award will also be given to these students. The 2020 summa cum laude graduates are Melissa Aligich, Farudin Alich, Diana Alonzo, Jordan Canterbury, Emmeline Chapel, Jalen Diaz, Andrea Galicki, Allison Hickman, Nathaniel Hickman, Elnod Yasarevich, Joffe Jones, A. Key, Tony Lee, Caleb Massey, Jordan Miller, Albina Marina, Jayshon Muradovich, Saib Music, Janet Navarro, Saul Ray, Cassidy Resch, Jacob Walterman, and Sierra Young. Congratulations to all summa cum laude students. At this time, we would also like to recognize students who have maintained a 4.0 unweighted grade point average throughout their four years of high school. Farudin Alich, Jordan Canterbury, Emmeline Chapel, and A. Key. Congratulations to all of the 4.0 students. Earning scholarship money is competitive. These students have found that working hard in the classroom as well as dedicating oneself to community service pays off. Because of this criteria and dedication in completing the application process, these students have been offered one or more scholarships that will help finance their college tuition. To date, the class of 2020 has been offered $2.9 million in scholarship money. At this time, I would like to recognize the following students who have been offered scholarships. Salihi Akili, Melissa Aligic, Randa Autorawish, Catherine Alfaro, Ella Alec, Farudin Alec, Diana Alonzo, Alexia Barnes, Junior Paradis Vays, Justin Borden, Dre Boyd, Cheyenne Brooks Connor, Chandler Bumpus, Rodney Burton, Jordan Canterbury, Ariel Carter, Emma Saramovic, Niang Singh, Nicholas. Cowan, Jalen Diaz, Dylan Douglas, Destiny Dunn, Malia Dye, Lauren Ely, Erica Echeverria, Peyton 
Eversole, Don Ferguson, Giovanni Floyd, Dennis Freeman, Andrea Galicki, Zarina Grabus, Matavia Graham, Victoria Griffith, Christian Haley, Anel Hadzerbik, Munga Hamisi, Amra Hamzabagic, Mario Hernandez, Kayla Hernandez, Allison Hickman, Nathaniel Hickman, Jenna Hopwood, Arity Howard, Savion Howard, Elnod Yasarovic, Jaffe Jones, A. Key, Angel Kitchens, Gideon Kling, Kenny Lazo, Tony Lee, Taylor Leach, Allison Lava, Daisy Lessonberry, Jordan Lindsay, Caleb Massey, Adna Mimetovic, Jordan Miller, Bernabe Miranda, Albina Marina, Ku Mo, Luke Monarch, Tavion Morris, Renee Murrell, Amina Mustafich, Win Win, Tresor Nishimwe, Mai U, Victoria Poor, Austin Porter Elkin, Janet Navarro, Amari Ray, Saul Ray, Jude Reader, Haley Rhodes, Marcella Robles, T Talia Ruiz, Travis Sanderson, Tristan Selby, Adela Sabalo, Ashley Sargento, Tayden Smith, Kobe Stahl, Dino Tahich, Kimberly Torres, Jean Bosco Tuasingi, Josue Valadares, Jasmine Bong, Alexa Warden Ewer, Yu Ya, and Sierra Young. The Todd Stewart Outstanding Senior Athlete Award was named in honor of former teacher, coach, athletic director, dean of students, and WCHS Athletic Hall of Fame member, Todd Stewart. Coach Stewart embodies the spirit of Warren Central and its dragon pride. This award is presented to the male and female senior athlete who's not only a competitor on the playing field, but one who also embraces the importance of performing at the highest level in the classroom. This year's Todd Stewart Outstanding Senior Athletes are Taylor Leach and Justin Borden. Congratulations, Taylor and Justin. The Outstanding Senior Benevolent Award of Recognition is to be presented to a senior who demonstrates leadership, manners, is involved in athletics or extracurricular activities, has a great respect for academics, and demonstrates a loyalty to Warren Central High School. The winner will receive their own plaque and name placed on a continuing plaque to remain at the school. Please let me share a few things about this year's recipient. This student has limitless potential. He or she exemplifies all those characteristics that make a good person great. He or she has served in many capacities during the four years at Warren Central and has grown into a fine young adult. This student has taken on leadership roles and has been responsible for overseeing many tasks and events. 
This student is able to use leadership to encourage and motivate others. This student certainly leads by example. The second component of this award is manners. I cannot think of many other students who demonstrate such a positive attitude greater than this young person. This person has demonstrated an attitude that is exemplary at all times. He or she is always up for the task given and is always willing to do whatever it takes to fulfill his or her responsibility. This recipient exhibits a graciousness most adults wish that they could master. He or she has strong moral val values and has the essential academic and personal qualities to succeed. The last key piece of this award includes extracurricular activities, community service, and loyalty to Warren Central. He or she has demonstrated this ability to handle multiple challenges and still be responsible and extremely successful academically. This student has given selfless volunteer hours in our community by helping many others. The character and values of this student has made them the perfect choice to represent Warren Central. It is my pleasure to present the Outstanding Senior Benevolent Award of Recognition to Ms. Talia Ruiz. Talia is very dedicated to Warren Central. During her time here, she has been involved in many things such as student ambassadors, varsity soccer, varsity cheerleading, the Superintendent Advisory Council, and FCCLA. This year, she was selected for the state level in FCCLA and placed in the top two at that level. She is now scheduled to participate in the STAR event at Nationals. She has earned over $27,000 in scholarships, maintained a 3.8 GPA, and will be attending WKU next year to study interior design and business. But maybe more importantly than all of this is that Talia is an outstanding person whose character is second to none. She is respectful, honest, and carries out all tasks with truth, honor, and dignity. She is a role model, a leader, and a mentor. She is trustworthy, dependable, and witty. It is with great pleasure that I award the Outstanding Senior Benevolent Award of Recognition to Talia. Again, I want to congratulate all of our 2020 seniors on your outstanding accomplishments and wish you good luck with your next endeavors. We do miss you, we love you, and we know that the future is very bright for each of you. Thank you.